Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today we have very special review impressions of a knife that I got from Golden Design Works. This is the Caliber. This is their premium golden version in the gold fat carbon. So this is kind of a fancy schmancy one, if you will. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about this knife. Uh, the designer is Blake Golden from Golden Design. I'm trying to get out the little card here <laughs> for you guys to see. Here's the Caliber. Uh, your caliber comes with a limited lifetime warranty, right? And this is made 623 and in inspected by Blake Golden. And then right here, this is the uh, MagnaCut HR. Uh, this is the limited version with the gold uh, fat carbon, which is really cool in the sun. Beautiful, beautiful. This was inspected, if you will. So there you go. Um, 6324. Uh, so that is the knife right here. It is pretty cool. So let's take a look at this. All right, so we got gold fat carbon, which looks really gorgeous in the sun. I don't know if we can kind of get a little bit of that. Maybe, I don't know if you can see that with a little bit of flashlight, if it kind of pulls it out a little bit. It is gorgeous, 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 right? So I have a Alamic Custom that has gold fat carbon, highly polished, looks stunning. Um, so, and then back here is the titanium black on there with the gold, kind of a bronze anodized, looks like gold, uh, hidden hardware right here. You can see the screws everywhere, even the little button, uh, the frame lock button, the button frame lock here thing, and then the, uh, the locked uh, captive pivot right there. And then the back spacer is all that gold and bronze kind of design. All right, it is multiple deployments. You do have a fuller thumb hole, you have a front flipper, you have a regular flipper. So the flipper works like that. Beautiful hand satin finish right there. Gorgeous little knife. You can see that beautiful high polish there. Um, very, very beautiful. I got a little stuff on there, I guess, because oil or something. Yeah, we'll wipe that off. Get my cloth here. <laughs> there we go. I don't know if I need a little bit of oil or something. It looks like I must have gotten something on there. No, I did probably open a box. There might be a little bit, bit of tape on there. So, you know, kind of use it for, for fun to open a box. But it's gorgeous little beautiful blade. The jimping goes all the way up to the top here. Really nice. This is a big knife. It's a big knife. When you use the finger choil, there's a ton of room here. So magnet cut blade steel on here. You can see that magnet cut right there. Nice thin design. It's got a beautiful swedge. It is sort of like a Warncliffe blade. Reverse tanto. Call it what you want. Big, huge finger choil, nice access room on there. Um, nice and rounded all the way around. It's, it's a little thinner, but it's not thin, thin. It's just, it's slim and wide, and it, which is nice. It's nice and chamfered, so beautiful. There's no sharp edges anywhere. All really knocked down, taken care of, which is beautiful. You, when you do choke up, the jimping all the way extends up here, so it works nicely. You can definitely do a nice cut, precision cut. You know, if you do pinch grip, I think, um, I say for me, um, um, Cole from Tri-State EDC, he would say that would work really well. So you got the, the flipper, you got the front flipper up here. That works really nicely. And then, of course, you got the, the fuller thumb. Uh, you can do front and back. And then, of course, it works well left-handed as well, right? So that all, it's also nice. Uh, sorry, doing that over here. And, of course, you can do the top flipper with the finger, and you can do the flipper here, so that's nice. But it's a bigger knife. And so, I like you Eutectic, the Trinity and the Field Duty, I love those two knives, but the Field Duty worked better in my size hands. I have large hands, but I got shorter fingers, right? But they're giant, massively meaty fingers, but they're short. And so knives that are a little longer sometimes can be a challenge for me if I have to really extend to get up there. And so like in this case, I really have to extend to get up here and get to those things. So I like this knife. I like it a lot. It's just a little bit too big for me. So though I like larger knives, sometimes too big is is too big for me and it all's a matter of the aesthetics and i think for someone with larger hands they would really 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 dig this all right cage ceramic ball bearings i did put skiffs in there so that made it really nice and buttery smooth um magna cut blade beautiful nice really really crazy sharp edge nice thickness it's not super thick but not super thin so beautiful slicer comes down to a nice thin edge very nice for that Beautiful workout, workhorse in that way. It's got a nice thin frame lock, works really well. Engages in there, that frame lock is attached to this button. So this is a button frame lock. And so you can see as I push this button, look at this right here. See how it disengages the frame lock? That's how it engages. So you can open it and then just press it and it closes. So it, it's almost like a button lock, but not. So could you come up here and squeeze on this and disengage it? I mean, yeah, I guess if you, Depending on how you squeezed up here and how thick your calluses were, I guess you could. 
but if I grip here and if I grip now gripping here choke up position left-handed might be close right-handed I'm never going to do it right-handed I'm never going to do it even if you have longer fingers I feel like it's always going to rest right in the middle of it left-handed maybe right so be careful left-handed you know people you know, you'd probably be better in this presentation once you choke up. You got to be careful right there. So just you know, keep that in mind. It is right hand tip up only. It's not reversible. The hardware is hidden. It's inside, which is really nice. That is pretty cool. This beautiful, It there's no, uh, there's a steel bar. There is a steel liner in here, a very faint steel liner that goes in there, right? So that is in there, but mostly uh, well, well, well maintained. There is weight relief on the titanium side. You can definitely see that. That's like golden design on there which is nice, gives it a nice lightweight. We'll measure it here in just a second, get the dimensions. So open and closing, it's really nice. Uh, you have multiple deployments. This is absolutely a fidgety, fun knife. Uh, it's more fidgety fun for longer fingers and bigger hands. I will be honest up front. I, I like it. I like it. I just wish it was just, I wish it was a half inch to an inch shorter. Wish this was a seven and a half inch knife, honestly. This is my personal opinion. Um, but I like it. I like it. I think it's beautifully done. Beautiful, beautiful design. I'm glad I got a chance to check it out. Uh, I think this will definitely be a catch and release for me because I don't feel like I'm going to carry this. So, but it's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I think anybody would love this knife. I think especially, like I said, bigger hands. All right. Um, we talked about the materials. We talked about opening and closing. We talked about the mechanisms. Let's do a little bit of measurements. Let's see how much does this guy weigh. So I'm going to guess maybe 4.3, 3.7, not even close. 3.7 ounces, that's pretty light, right? So it's not a super heavy knife. Very, very cool. All right, let's see what the, what's the overall length of this knife. It's not a short knife, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be in the longer, longer length here. Let's bring this down here like that. All right, so what are we dealing with here? So we're dealing with a knife that is uh, about 8 and 5 eighths of an inch. All right, overall for your handle length, if you go here, you're about four inches. If you do the choil area, you've got five and a quarter inches of handle length. So I have large hands with um, big meaty fingers, extra large hands with regular size hands, with regular fingers, double extra large hands with skinner, skinny fingers would be about here. Double extra large, extra, uh, double, a large, extra large, double extra large hands easily could be on here if you choke up. Double, triple, quadruple, extra large hands. No problem. Uh, just my per personal opinion. I think, it, like I said, it really favors a larger hand. All right. From the very tip to the back, we're looking at just shy of four inches. I'm going to say it's three and I want to say seven eighths of an inch. Overall cutting length from the tip to there, it's about three and three eighths of an inch. Uh, does have that finger troll, which is generous for, you know, a nice choked up position. Some people find that very favorable, especially if you like Spyderco and knives like that. All right, so let's, why is that not centered? We're looking at 109 thousandths of an inch. Let's just measure it again on the tip here. 112, 118 thousandths of an inch. So it's definitely over under 1.2 inches. So it's definitely not a gigantically thick blade. So it's very thin. For a large blade like it is, it's very thin. All right, so what is the cost of this blade? This is around 350, if I remember correctly. I'm okay. I'm back. So this knife was running the limited of 399 dollars. I did get this as a seconds because it was a little off centered. I did center this relatively well. Um, it's still just a hair off. Um, I did get some new hardware for it because one was stuck in here, and I thought that had part of it to do with it. I did replace that with brand new hardware. <coughs> Excuse me. So now it, it's really running well, nice and beautiful. Uh, action's really, really quite, quite great with uh, with the skiffs on there. Still off just a little bit to the right. Um, every once in a while, it just uh, I feel like I don't know if that had something to do with a fat carbon scale. Um, someone who has machines and the belt sander, they could probably finish that out because when I look at this, I feel like it's has more to do with this uh, fat carbon scale itself because everything else seems to line up. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But it is it is it is pretty pretty amazing. I mean, um, it is very minimal as far as that is concerned. Got a little dirt there from me flipping it so much. Sorry. Um, but the action is just just simply gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. So I, I like that. I like that a lot. All right. 
so $399 if you were to get this brand new. If you got a second, this is $350, but I did get it with uh, extra hardware. I did put skips in there, so I'm probably right back at $399, $400, over $400 spent into this knife. Uh, definitely a pretty cool knife. So it's $400 worth of knife for sure. Um, let's talk about it. Is it hard use EDC? Is it collection piece? Absolutely a collection piece. A knife at this range could be a collection piece. Could be a safe queen, could be a use one. Could it be EDC? Absolutely someone could EDC this all day long. And then could they hard use it? Relatively speaking for a frame lock, I think you could with a thinner blade. I think it absolutely could be hard use, but you know, it, it all depends on what your expectations are out of the knife, right? So could be a hard use knife, but that is certainly up to you if you wanted it to be a hard use knife. So, um, as far as opening and closing, oh, sorry, uh, hard use knife. So, so where does this fall into? Uh, we said it was three ninety nine. I don't. Did I say uh, this is right in the standard? I mean, it's it's in the higher end because it's over three hundred dollars. It's not up to three hundred. So it's three hundred to six hundred dollars. So this is a higher end knife. I, I I think we skipped that part. So this is a high end knife. It's not just a regular knife, but it's not a mid tech custom six hundred dollar plus knife. It's closer, it's in the middle, right? Closer to the bottom layer of that. So just so you know, as far as EDC use and, uh, and all that, so keep that in mind with the cost where it's standing. If you want to go back and reevaluate the EDC, EDC use everyday carry and the collection piece status on that. Opening and closing. Opening and closing is great. It's got multiple deployments. You can flip it. You can front flip it. You can use the fuller hole, the thumb hole. Works really nicely. You can use the button hole. This is, this is like... This is uber fidgety. This is like you have every possible fidget way to open it and it does it well. So yeah, yeah, uh, it opens, it closes well. Action's beautiful. Um, I enjoy using the button because it is the frame lock, but so it's a little more secure in that regard. But if you if you like a traditional frame lock, it's always nice for that as well. So like if you're left-handed and you're doing this and you didn't want to use the button, which works well left-handed, you could still do that. So I mean, there is that, you know, so... If you want to just be a frame lock kind of guy, you can, or a gal, you can, but here, here's the button. I mean, it gives you options. I think that personally is cool. All right. So, so let's talk a little bit about our next thing here. We, we, we talk about what I like to talk about is the fidget factor scale. So fidget factor scale. Not many knives get really high in the fidget factor scales, but this one's going to. This is, if this is not a 10, then I don't know what is. This is a 10 out of 10 fidget factor. I mean, you've got button lock, you've got, uh, you've got uh, uh, top flipper, you got front flipper. I mean, technically you can go over the front here as well if you've got long enough fingers. Uh, see, like if you have long enough fingers, you can, you could do, well, I don't know if I can do this, yeah, like that, right? And then you've got the thumb hole, right? And then you down here, so all that works. And then you got the, this right here as well. And then you can close it with a frame lock, you can close it with a button. It, it is a 10 out of 10 as far as fidget, fidget factor. Now, fidgetability, what, what, what's the percentage on this? So for me, if I had larger hands, this would probably be close to 100%. But because I have smaller hands, smaller fingers, I should say, shorter fingers, this one's going to be a 90. And that's only because it's kind of big for me. I, I, it just really is. It's a longer knife, and I, that's my challenge. That's the only reason why this is not going to be a regular carry in a collection piece. It's just, it's just too big for me. It's just too big. So if you have larger hands and that's an issue, keep that in mind. I mean, that might be important to you, might not. Um, and if you're looking for a larger knife, you want something a little bit longer. I mean, this is a great consideration, right? So I am going to be selling this knife, likely. So, you know, let me know if you're interested. But um, this knife will definitely be something that will be a catch and release as far as I'm concerned. But I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm going to give it a 90, a solid a minus as far as fidget. If my hands were bigger, this would be an A plus. It would probably be a 99 to 100. I, I really feel like that would be the case. If you have larger hands, you might think it's 100, honestly. Um, is it recommended? Absolutely recommended. Absolutely recommend. This is one of those knives that is just, it just, I bought it, I liked it, I wanted it in my collection. It's just, I know I won't carry it. It's just got that long, too long ability for me to be able to use. And every once in a while I'm reaching and I'm finding and I'm finding it awkward to have to reach out to it because it's just the length of the knife. I have some bigger knives that, that doesn't work. They're ergonomics for whatever reason. They're designed differently. They're meant to be handled differently. They don't have as much, you know, all the, the multiple deployments like this does, but they're, they're easier to work with, right? And this one is more challenging for my length of fingers, right? So I will say that. Um, 
But yeah, it's absolutely recommended. I think it's a great knife. It's a fantastic, brilliant design. I love this button frame lock thing. This is done really, really well. I dig that. I really, I would love to see more of that. Now, where he has it working right there, right now, and I don't know if that's the restriction where he has to have it right there. I wish that button could go forward just a little bit more, but that's just me. Because it, it's just kind of close right there to, if it was just not right there, it would be almost on, you know, you're almost wanting to depress it. That's, that's my only thing. I, I wish it was just a little bit higher, if that's possible. That'd be my only recommendation, if that's even a, a possibility. It may not be. I mean, he may be stretching the limits of the design here, and I, I still love it. I still love it, right? I think it's great. I think it's brilliant. I think it's really, really brilliant. And I think it's pretty cool. So this is the Golden Design Works. I recommend this knife, the caliber. I think it's pretty cool. What are your, what are your thoughts? Excuse me. What are your thoughts? Let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your questions, what you think about this. You think I'm an idiot? You think it's a good idea? You like my thoughts. Remember, this is my review impressions of a knife that I bought. And I'm not going to hard use because I think it's going to be a catch and release. I'm going to sell it. So um, I like it. I think it's great. I think the next person is going to love it. Especially if you've got bigger hands. So I, that's the cool thing. I dig that. I dig that a lot. So let me know your thoughts on this thing. I'd love to hear you, hear your ideas, your 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 feedback, all that sort of other stuff. Um, anything you have, any questions you have, stuff like that, let me know. Um, all right. So, hey, um, if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, informative, or enter entertaining, would you please consider hitting the like button down below? And if you've already hit that like button, would you please consider hitting the subscribe button? Subscribing and liking the videos really helps out the channel, allows the channel to produce more content, do more things, ultimately do more things for you guys. So thank you. Thank you to everyone who watches, who likes, who enjoys the videos. I appreciate you guys, especially if you watch the live stream, you just enjoy the content. Man, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't already, maybe consider hitting that notification button down below so you can be notified of future content like this video. And to all my channel members, a huge thank you. You guys allow me to do things more quickly, sooner than I ever thought I'd ever be able to do, and I'm grateful and humbled to you guys. You encourage me, even when it's tough, you know, this being a part-time kind of thing, uh, you allow me to keep pushing forward. So thank you, thank you to you guys. And if you thought of becoming a channel member, I would love to have you, I'd be honored. Please don't ever feel obligated. Check out the description down below. I have three different tiers. I'd be honored to have you in any one of those. And if you became a brand new channel member, I'd love to send you a sticker. Every channel member, I have two awesome things for you guys. Uh, one, I'd love to send you brand new channel members a sticker. If you were a channel member for a while and you're still a member now and you never asked, or you were a channel member and then, you know, whatever your membership ended and you became a member again and you're an active member right now, email me with your name and address. I'd love to mail you a sticker to say thank you. And then also, I have a once a month members giveaway. It's an exclusive giveaway. It's not just a budget giveaway. I usually try to find a very nice knife to give away, something special. Just my small way to say thank you. Thank you to you guys out there. So just keep that in mind. I would love to have you as, as members out there. I'd be honored. Um, check it out. You know, love to have you, but don't ever feel obligated. If that entices you and you want to be a member, I, I would appreciate it, right? I would appreciate it. Hey, if you found the, uh, if you haven't already, check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.